Hello, thank you for joining with me for the meditation of Lesson 262. Go ahead and sit with your back supported, head and neck free. Start with a 2x breath in through the nose for a count of 2, out through the mouth for a count of 3. Repeat that three times. Go ahead and close your eyes if they're not closed already. Let me perceive no differences today. Father, you have one Son, and it is He that I would look upon today. He is your one creation. Why should I perceive a thousand forms in what remains as one? Why should I give this one a thousand names when only one suffices? Let's move into a 3x breath in through the nose for a count of 3, out through the mouth for a count of 6. Repeat that three times as well. For your son must bear your name, for you created him. Let me not see him as a stranger to his father, nor as stranger to myself. For he is part of me and I of him. And we are part of you who are our source, eternally united in your love, eternally the Holy Son of God. We who are one would recognize this day the truth about ourselves. We would come home and rest in unity. For there is peace, and nowhere else can be peace be sought and found. Let's go ahead and move into the 4x breath, in through the nose for a count of 4, out through the mouth for a count of 8, and repeat that at least three times throughout the silent meditation. Lesson 262. Let me perceive no differences today. Use this as the mantra or the mantra of your choice to help redirect your thoughts. Let me perceive no differences today.
let me perceive no differences today. This important lesson highlights the oneness of our self, remembered by denying the ego's thought system of differences. This calls to mind Jesus' teaching how all special relationships depend on the belief that we are different from our brothers. These differences guaranteeing our salvation. Thus I believe that your guilt demonstrates my innocence. What I lack you stole, and thus my need accuses you of the sin of seizing what is rightfully mine. This stark difference between us justifies my taking back from you the means for attaining my peace. We remain different, but now I have the specialness. I lacked, and you do not. God has one son, not many. Therefore, the seeming differences we perceive must be illusory. We apply this fact of unity as we go through our day, perceiving separate interests all around us, but now allowing Jesus to interpret them for us. Thus, we regard differences as a classroom in which we learn that God's Son has but one interest, one purpose, and one goal. A wondrous gift awaits us when we release our arrogant designs for peace. And what joy comes when we accept the unity of God's creation without opposite. Recall the simplicity of God's peace, which awakens us to the memory of His loving oneness. This is from the Manual for Teachers. What is the peace of God? No more than this. The simple understanding that His will is wholly without opposite. Now is the mighty will of God Himself His gift to you. The will of God is one, and all there is. This is your heritage. The universe beyond the sun and stars, and all the thoughts of which you can conceive, belongs to you. Attain His peace, and you remember Him. Thank you for joining with me for Lesson 262. Let me perceive no differences today. Let us remember that by bringing the illusion of differences between us, us and our brother, to the Holy Spirit, we learn His true perception of the one purpose of forgiveness that reflects the oneness of heaven, a oneness joined as one. Happily, we accept the truth of His perception and the falsity of ours. Thank you so much for joining with me today. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you tomorrow. I love you. Bye.